All right, guys, how you doing? So in this video, we're gonna be adjusting the spring in this rear pulley of this 30 series torque converter to allow more acceleration and low end torque. All right, so real quick, a little thing on this four wheeler. It originally had a clutch and a jack shaft to the rear end. In my last video, actually, I put this torque converter in here and yeah, definitely way better. So the main thing about adjusting this rear pulley is, is it, you know, if you tighten the spring up in it, you can have more low end torque. Basically it takes, you know, more force in order to spread this pulley out. We should see these three holes right here, stock position that comes in this hole. I'm gonna move it in this hole so it'll put more tension on here. And if that's not enough tension, I can always get a yellow spring to put on it, which is gonna give it even more tension. Now the engine in here can turn about 7,000, 7,500 RPMs. Uh, it's a stage two kit, mod two cam, 18 pound valve springs. Uh, specifically built it for this full wheeler. Uh, yeah, at, at 4,000 RPMs, because we got a tachometer up there, uh, it is stupidly fast. It goes about maybe 35. See, the belt has a little bit of wear on it. Now be careful when you take this thing off, guys, because it is spring-loaded. All right, let me set this dang parking brake. Dang, why is this thing so hard to get off here? It's brand new. There we go. All right, there we go. And guys, by the way, this is the first time I ever worked on like an actual torque converter before, so it did take me a little bit to figure this out, but you know, that's the whole thing. It's just learning and learning and learning. All right, so you see the spring right here. It's in the second position here. What you want to do is you want to take that out. And this is the first hole and this is the third hole. So this hole right here gives you more torque. So we're going to put it in this hole and we're going to reassemble it. See how this whole pulley system can slide out? Hell, dang, I don't know what the heck is cutting me on this thing, but, you know... Something's ain't cutting the crap out of me. <clears throat> uh, and you got mosquitoes, you know, sucking blood out of you. So that's also fun when you're trying to do something super critical. All right, I think that's in there. Should be anyway. Be sure your flat part goes on the inside. Always be sure you put your belt back on before you put the pulley on, because if you don't, it's gonna be really annoying. Bam! Also, who designs pants with no pockets? Who? design this no pockets at all all right so real quick let's throw these side covers back on boom now also i do have this torque converter cover here but let me show you something so this torque converter cover i'm not going to put it on here number one it's not going to fit in there really number two it wouldn't really look that good and you know if it was black it, or clear maybe it'd be a different story but uh it'll, it, it, it'll probably just look better without it also i did get the exhaust hooked back up uh main thing i had to do is i had to cut part of the threads down so this will actually thread on more uh that took a while but it's on there so i started up now all right so one little quick thing i did i zip tied the fuel line up here because it was just literally resting on the block also another thing is i'm gonna have to weld something right here because this is just not gonna hold up
that was pretty insane. So the video that I held at full throttle right down there, uh, yes. I was literally just going along and I hit it, you know, to full throttle. It gets faster and faster and the RPMs drop and it just stays at like 4,000, 4,300, somewhere around in there. And it's going so fast and like, I, I, even when I hold it full throttle, you know, it, it doesn't really have to torque at that speed to keep it going. But it does have really good low end torque, so that's really good. But, you know, I still want to be able to turn more RPMs out of the engine. Because, I mean, heck, it's just like, you know, having a stage one kit or a stock internals in it. You know, if I can't go over 4,000 RPMs, then, you know, the stage two kit's kind of worthless, actually. But, in theory, it does make it bulletproof. All right, so that rear uh, pulley is definitely a lot better. And, y'all, on this back here is the original engine uh, from the four-wheeler before we put the Predator in it. I also put the Tecumseh up there for a bit of a shelf clean. All right, so the drivetrain up there is definitely a lot better. Now, look at this rear end. This, yeah, this is literally the only thing that's bolted to is this cheesy metal right here. I mean, any time I like start from a dead stop and just flooring it, you know, it always feels like the rear end's just gonna go whoop and just like fall out from under me. So, yeah, I'm kind of am skeptical about this. I might want to weld some extra supports on here because we have to weld angle iron under the engine part to keep that part rigid. And also, not only that, this axle is slightly bent. Because like when you turn this wheel, plus this wheel, one of the wheels is a little bit warped. So it does kind of do that a little bit. So that could be another reason why it's vibrating a ton at 41 miles an hour, which I, is what I got this thing up to. And it is really insane. I know exactly what y'all are going to say. Why don't you just add more power to it? Y'all, this does not need any more power. I mean, y'all, this four-wheeler is fast enough. It does not need to go any faster. 41 miles an hour is hauling butt, let me tell you. And it'll probably go about 45 or 50. And I mean, y'all, if we want to go like 70 miles an hour, we got a racing go-kart over there that we can go up to 70 miles an hour. So that's a go-kart for going fast on, okay? This is an off-road thing. This over here, the one-wheel drive go-kart behind all the gas cans, uh, that is a yard cart thing. Even though I got a 19-tooth clutch bell, but I'm going to put the 12-tooth back on it soon. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then do all the other stuff other YouTubers say to do if you want to. Uh, if you didn't like this video, click on thumbs down twice uh, because two is better than one. Uh, three or more does not work. And y'all should see me in the next one sometime soon.